family, uh, this the boy, the energy coach, and we got an energy report. We're going to do the relationships and this, uh, you know, not the gender battle, but you feel me? We're going to focus on, again, on men being better. That's the, that's the hype. So we got a couple of videos today. First, we're going to start off with this one. I'm going to break down some truths and some positives of what I think. Um, and, you know, this is it. just my opinion. I'm no counselor, no marriage uh, counselor, or anything like that. Or um, I have my experiences with relationships. A lot of them I have my experience with being social. So I'm just giving my opinion. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If he hates his ex, he's probably in love with her. That's a possibility, but not a guarantee. Now, what we going to do with this? He going to say some things, and I'm going to say if I, how I feel about it. There's no such thing as a man that's not romantic. If he really valued you like that, you'd have a decorated hotel on February 14th. That's cap, because how do you know? How would he know to do those things if he ain't never did it before? Also, if he's been burnt before many a times... How you know he's just going to be so quick to be open like that? It take time. Also, it take really getting to know um, each other. Same thing with women. Like, don't just get into, you feel me, opening your legs quickly, you feel me, or just falling in love quickly, you feel me, because you're thinking that it's just on point. But again, this is just my opinion. If his friends cheat, he is most likely a cheater. Possibility, but I don't know, because that same thing would apply to women too. Is that the case? I can't say so. I don't think so, you know, but hey, everybody is different. If he grew up without a positive male role model, be prepared to deal with some sass. I agree with that. Um, if he grew up without a positive role model, he will definitely have that. Also, if he grew up with a positive role model, but he was baby, sheltered, or nine times out of ten in this generation with all of the extra estrogen that's into food, um, the, the social trends of psychological programming, telling them how to be more feminine, different kind of things like that plays a part as well. If he has social media but claims he won't post you because he's private, that's cap. That's cap because you got to remember, man, a lot of people are getting used, abused, beat up, and projecting off things off of social media. You don't necessarily have to put your lifestyle on social media. You don't have to put everything on there. To be honest, I remember once upon a time where it was kind of a negative to put your private life out there on social media. But because of the last, I uh, say, what, 10 years, everything flipped. Everybody wants everything to be outlined or online. And all these things that you put online can and will be used against you, regardless if it's from your job. They go through all of your stuff, regardless if it's from somebody who you may have problems with or enemy. I just heard about. I'm not even going to say I heard. I know personally people who have done lost their life because people that found their location. I know relationships that have been ruined because of the stuff that they was putting on social media. And they wasn't even doing nothing with these people. So I cannot say that that's uh, true. He's probably trying to protect somebody else's feelings. If he was really private, he wouldn't have social media at all. That's also true. I, I will not say um, that that part may have some, um, that may be off, that may have some truth to it. If he follows a bunch of women that don't follow him back, congrats, he would a clown. That's facts. If him and his mama don't have a positive relationship, he's going to have some narcissistic traits. I don't know. I don't know. Because his him and his mom can have a positive relationship and he can still be like that. That doesn't necessarily mean that. If one of his homeboys keep firm with you, he probably knows that your man is cheating. Nah, because niggas be cat. So it, it says firm, but I think it, he meant flirting. So um, you feel me? A lot of dudes be doing that. That don't necessarily mean that. Don't necessarily mean that. But that also mean that that may not really be his partner like that. That might just be an associate. If you catching him in little white lies, there's a big lie that he got past you. I don't know if it's a big lie past you, but it's a good chance that you feel me. He probably is a liar. That was another one. Oh, if he accuses you of cheating, he's cheating. I don't know, unless he actually caught you cheating. But that could be a possible. That's a questionable. I don't know. Because, again, you have to apply this to women, too. Is that the case? If he brags about how many women he's finessed, played, manipulated, used, nine times out of ten, he's DL. That could be true. Because I don't think there's no grown man that's running around uh, talking and bragging about that. If it is, that's kind of corny and lame. So that could be true. If he doesn't protect and provide for you while you're in a relationship, he's not going to start doing it once y'all get married. 
That's true. I agree with that. If he hits walls or throw things when you're arguing, he will eventually put his hands on you. That's also true. Um, I agree with that. He may not. He more than likely he does not have control over his anger, um, and he'd be spazzing out. If his female friends don't like you, they probably fuck him. Possibility, or they want to, but also it depends on the female. You could y'all could just not be compatible. Y'all cannot mix. They may just not like you. I could do this shit all day. It ain't the girl he following that you need to be worried about. It's the one that he got blocked. I don't know because uh, I don't think a lot of men is just going around block or blocking females. And you feel me? I, I don't know about that one. That's that's in the air. If he tries to control what you wear, he's insecure. If this is a grown, um, I don't know about that one as well. Well, depend on what the definition of controlling. Like if he's just something like, mm, nah, I ain't really really feeling that. You know, and y'all actually together. You feel me? Y'all rocking and, and y'all actually together then you should be mindful of what he's saying to you. But if he tries to just telling you, no, put that on, put this on, put that on, possibility. But, again, you got to be mindful of how he feel if you're in a relationship with him. If you if you wearing something and you making him feel uncomfortable, regardless of what he ever he feels, man, either respect him and you feel me and do something about it or, you know, Hey, boogie on to the next. Y'all don't think th y'all don't need to be together because that's gonna turn into an issue later on down the road. Oh man, and he never invites you to his house. He's probably still living with the girl he was dating before. Mm, possibility or, and this is why I'm saying it's a possibility or, or because sometimes y'all can be dating. You feel me? But he ain't comfortable with you, or he just don't plan on bringing you over because a lot of females once they find out the address, you feel me? Hey. Things can go go very, very wrong. He probably have a hard time trying to get you out. Or there's a possibility he just don't plan on taking you serious. And that's why you're not going over there. Like, it might take a while, especially if he got his stuff together. If he got his stuff together, he's not just going to bring you over. Because he don't want you knowing, he don't want you knowing where he lay his head at. Because one, if he don't know you that well, or if he getting to know you, or he don't know you for a long, long time, he don't know if you could be trying to set him up. He don't know if you could be trying to use them, take advantage of them. He don't know, you feel me, what your intentions is. This is the wacky, wacky world. And many situations like this happen daily. Yeah, man, y'all follow me. Tell me if y'all want more. If he hates his ex. All right, let's go on to something else. I got some another one for y'all that I thought was pretty interesting. Oh, These young cooking. niggas struggling with discipline. Hang on, let me start this over because she cooking. These young niggas struggling with discipline. They struggling with honoring themselves. They struggling with having standards. They struggling with their sexuality. All of this is what she's saying is facts. These niggas got no discipline. You feel me? They they have no self control. They don't honor themselves. That's why they be quick to leave with their pockets instead of with their mind. You feel me? And just with their actions, they do struggle with their sexuality. A lot of these dudes is flip flop. You feel me? And playing for the other team and don't even know it. They struggling with controlling their temper. Facts again. They struggling with management of emotions. They acting like you as their mama because all they ever seen was a woman do stuff. And when you open your mouth, right, and set the tone when, as a father, when you walk the fuck away and didn't feel like you didn't step by your son, it's every bit of your fault as a parent, the mama and the motherfucking daddy. Y'all daughters. That by the time they get out of high school, good, they already pushing out the motherfucking baby. You didn't do a good job. You did not. A repeat of fatherlessness because the little boy that your baby don't let fuck her and get pregnant is not equipped to be no father to that baby. And fatherlessness does damage to our community. I don't give a f she not she not lying. Most of our problems started when the man stopped being in the household, which started in the 60s. After the Black Panthers got shut down and infiltrated with what they was doing, then you feel me, the civil rights movement got hijacked. Then you seen what happened in the 70s. Most of the men went off to Vietnam and came back with PTSD. And most of the women were introduced to prostitution. Then in the 80s, Uncle Sam passed a, a pilot program starting to incorporate women into corporate America, as well as putting men, you feel me, locked up for them being in the gangs or from trapping and then the 90s with the music just took it to a whole nother level and here we are today most of the time it was no household or no man in the household fuck what you say these these are the facts this is law 
Y'all so busy defending the best you could, like your whole ass grandma, you ain't willing to tell the truth. Yes, your grandma was a hoe. Eight, nine kids, no marriage, no real financial stability. Your grandma was loose. She lacked sexual discipline. That's but a lot of a lot of people is saying they want them old relationships like our grandparents, but they wasn't there to know what was happening when our grandparents was having those relationships. Not only that, uh, it was the economics that was happening back then. That's what was going to fuck on. But she was so busy trying to hide and defend her flaws, she raised you to believe that shit was normal and okay. So you turned around and had sex. These young niggas struggling with discipline. Yeah, I thought that was facts. I thought she was saying some facts. Um, she usually be, be on point with a lot of things. She says she got some common sense. Like. All right. So, um... I think her name is Love Dorsey, but I'm not sure. Shout out to her, though. Okay, I got another video. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I'm going to You know what anyway. I've come to the conclusion of? Some men will never treat you right because he's attracted to hoish women. These are typically the men that were deep in love with women who cheated on them constantly or was in a toxic relationship where they cheated back and forth on each other. And the good girls he encountered, he messed over them constantly because the good girl is not what he truly wants. After a while, he sees the good girl is boring because she doesn't bring him any problems and he loves the thrill of feeling unwanted and mistreated. And he knows in today's world it's unacceptable to wife a hoe he get clowned for it, which is why he uses good girls for the image and relationship publicly while privately still dealing with hoes. This is why a lot of men claim they don't like hoes, but will ruin a happy relationship for one. Free game, ladies. You know I don't know if that's accurate or not. I have no idea, but niggas do love hoes. I don't know. I don't know why, you feel me? And I know niggas, they not wiping no hoes. It's, well, not out loud, you feel me? Well, some do. We live in a wacky world, especially with this whole uh, hoe and trick agenda that's being pushed so i don't know but i thought that was pretty interesting all right let's let's uh break off with a funny Okay, let's go to another one. I don't go out a lot. Like, I don't go to parties a lot or whatever. That's just because I don't go out a lot. Like, I don't go to parties a lot or whatever. That's just I don't go out a lot. Like, I don't go to parties a lot or whatever. I don't go out a lot. Like, I don't go to parties a lot or whatever. That's just because, like, I don't. I don't go out a lot. Like, I don't. I thought this was hilarious because it is a lot of clones out here. That's a lot of clones. Everybody is just, you feel me? And they is just mimicking, 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 and repeating. So. Y'all go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what y'all think, and I will catch y'all on the next one.